Hello, this is the History for All Ages channel, and today we are going to continue on from my last video, and are going to be looking at the influences on the ideas about the cause of disease and illness, and start to look at the approaches to treatment and prevention. The first thing we need to look at when looking at influences on ideas is the church. The church, as we have previously mentioned, was extremely influential. In medieval England, that is the same when it comes to illness and disease. The church wanted things to stay the same in terms of their power, so that believed that the status quo was the best way to do that. They also controlled learning in the country, specifically medical learning, which meant that what the church believed was what the physicians were taught. The church opposed any opposition to the theory of the four humors. Books by Galen and Hippocrates were preserved so their views were still very much influential. There was also a lack of scientific knowledge at this time so physicians usually used to make their theories fit with the old views rather than try to come up with some new innovative theories. They was also scared that they would not be able to get any work if they did not follow Galen's teachings as the church obviously supported Galen. People in this period was very apprehensive about speaking up against the church. They believed that any physician who followed the church's teaching was a good physician, so anybody who tried to make new discoveries usually decided not to as it would have negatively impacted their ability to get any work. The next thing we need to look at is the approaches to treatment and prevention of illness and disease in 1252-1500. The first thing we need to look at is the supernatural and religious treatment methods. The church offered advice to help treat illness and disease in this period. This included things like fasting, paying for a special mass to be said for them or those inflicted, healing prayers and also going on a pilgrimage to the graves of those who were believed to have healing powers. There were some who believed spells and amulets would help with healing however this was not approved by the church. The church also sometimes stated that one should not look for a cure for disease as you must have sinned and do not deserve a remedy. And if you did end up cured it must mean you had repented for your sin and God had forgiven you. The last supernatural remedy was astrology. Astrology was used to help physicians decide what treatment was needed based on the alignment of the planet. The next thing we need to look at is humoral treatments. So we have looked at the ideas about the cause of disease and illness and the approaches to the treatment. But now we need to look at the types of treatment available. Medieval doctors treated each symptom separately. The first treatment was called bloodletting. There was three types of bloodletting, cutting straight into the vein, leeches and cupping. Bloodletting was done by barber surgeons and was the most common treatment used at this time. Many people died from this as they were bled for too long or they got infections from unclean equipment. The next one was purging. This involved either laxatives or eating something that would make you throw up which is called an emetic. Sometimes if this did not work physicians would use water with other ingredients and use this as an enema administered through the anus. The final thing we will be looking at in this video is remedies used in this period. People in this period would be given herbal remedies that they could drink or bathe in or even sniff. Aloe vera would also be used to promote good digestion. Theriaca was used to ward off bad smells or miasma. This would be a mixture of very heavily scented ingredients like spices, opium, etc. Food was also used as remedies. Warm foods were used to treat colds, etc. The last thing that we need to look at was bathing. 
Bathing in warm water was prescribed to patients to help balance the four humors and help remove impurities. Some of these would be pleasant like bathing in herbs, but others were not so nice. Like boiling fox in water and then bathing in that same water. This is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe.